Still Friday night, yeah, it's going down. The boys, Chris and Nick. What's up, hobby family? It's your boy Kato at Mr. Kato on Twitter. And I'm just here to talk a little bit about the hashtag ripping for the cure drive that's going on right now on Twitter. It's raising funds and raising support for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Now this drive is ran by an amazing dude named Eric Hecker. You can hit him up on Twitter. I'll drop his handle right here. Um, but it's an amazing thing going on where people in the hobby community are coming together to raise funds and raise supports for people living with Crohn's and colitis. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, I have Crohn's disease. I've had Crohn's disease since 2012 when I was diagnosed. It's something that I live with every day. And the fact that people are coming on board to support something that I live with and something that I've really struggled with is an absolutely amazing thing. So I wanna say thank you right off the gate to those coming on board. And make sure if you're on Twitter right now, you're checking out that hashtag ripping for the cure and join in whether that be financial support or just supporting those who are doing things uh, it's an amazing thing going on and i just encourage you guys to check it out i wanted to share a little bit about my story and my journey with my crohn's disease i was diagnosed with crohn's disease back in 2012 and it was literally probably the worst year of my life i was just Fresh into marriage, it was my first year when literally my entire world exploded. The summer of 2012, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in July, and then in August, my Crohn's disease went into an absolute tailspin, which landed me 29 days inside of a hospital room, receiving three blood transfusions, uh, multiple pick lines. I was getting fed through a tube because my body wasn't able to, to hold any sort of nourishment. I was dehydrated. It was literally the worst state that, that, that I'll probably ever be in in my life. And it was the hardest state for my wife of just one year who had to watch her husband uh, lay there as this disease literally ravaged my body. And, and for that entire next year, it was literally up and down and up and down uh, journey. Uh, you know, multiple uh, hospital visits, doctor's appointments, checkups. Um, I was dealing with different types of medications, trying to get my Crohn's disease under control. And a year later, almost to the date when things blew up, it blew up again. And it landed me 34 days out of work, um, having to be uh, basically on house rest as I was trying to get my body back in shape. And it's been a constant journey through that process. And I'm so thankful um, that I was able to find uh, what works for my Crohn's disease. And I use diet as a means to, to manage my Crohn's disease. And praise God that I got an amazing wife who's been supportive of me through this whole process. But it has been a journey and it has been a complete lifestyle change for us. Um, but I'm so thankful for people um, who've come into my life and spoke truth into my life that I probably never would have encountered had I not um, had I not had this disease. Some of my best friends now, dudes that I talk to all the time, are dudes who are living in the same world that I'm living, uh, having Crohn's disease or colitis. I wanna speak just a second on the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. You know, when I first got diagnosed, I'd never heard of Crohn's disease before. And so the first thing I did was I ran to Google and I found the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And the thing I appreciate about the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is it has all the resources that someone who first gets diagnosed needs. What is this disease? What are ways that you can treat this disease? And the best thing about the site is they have uh, people living with Crohn's and colitis who can share their stories. And you can go on there and, and it's on the Our Stories tab and you can actually read stories about people living every single day with Crohn's and colitis, both living with it and those who take care of people living with it. And so that, that, that was a huge thing for me. And anyone who's living with inflammatory bowel disease, I encourage you, talk to people. Look into the resources where you can read people's stories because you can Google it to death and you're only gonna continue to circle the, the same things. But when you can talk to people living with it, um, it's the most amazing thing in the world. So I encourage you guys, if you haven't checked it out, pop onto Twitter, hashtag ripping for the cure. We got some amazing people who are coming on board um, to support this. And I just wanna shout those guys out uh, real quick. Card Warehouse, Midwest Box Breaks, Ripping Gypsy, Deafness 45, Buck City Breaks, Jimmy Guns, Minuteman Tickets, Eloy the Goat, Timmy Ahern, and I know there's so many more 
who are on board uh, supporting what's going on. And you don't have to support just, just with finances, okay? It's not all about financial support. It's about retweeting. It's about replying. It's about sharing. It's about encouraging those people who you know that are living with this or that are doing this to keep going, keep pushing, um, because that's, that's the biggest thing that people need is support. Both in this fundraiser, we need support, but people who are living with inflammatory bowel disease or IBD, um, they need that support as well. So thank you so much, um, all of those who are joining on board um, to support this. It means the world to me. So if you know me, thank you so much. Um, if you don't know me, thank you. I appreciate you. You don't know who I am, yet you're supporting the cause um, that, 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 that I'm living with, okay, that, that supports me. So thank you so much. Uh, keep being you. The bottom line, be the good in the world. Okay, be the good in your own life and be the good in somebody else's life. So hashtag ripping for the cure. Take care. Peace.